Hi everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I'm out in my shed and I am super excited to try another project with my new favorite, paint pouring. Stay tuned. I tried my hand at paint pouring a few weeks ago. I made a mirror, I'm obsessed, I love it, and I've been wanting to try it again. Now, I know that pouring paint onto a canvas isn't the most exciting way of using it, but I have an idea, I want to experiment, so here's what we're gonna do. Essentially, the way paint pouring works is you are gonna need a pouring medium. I use this one from DecoArt, and then you simply mix it in with your acrylic paints. So I am also using DecoArt acrylic paints. I have some Americana. I also have some of their dazzling metallics. And so I am going to mix equal parts paint pouring medium to my acrylic paint, and then we're gonna get going. You're looking for a consistency of about buttermilk, so if you over or under measure, you can always uh, thicken it up a little bit. You guys, I have exciting news for you. I have found my rubber gloves, so I won't be getting paint on my hands. How do doctors do this so easily? You definitely want to take precautions in protecting your workspace. All right, I have four canvases. And as a reminder, all you do with paint pouring is you simply give a little drizzle. And then the paint kind of does the rest. So once you've placed your paint on the canvas, you're simply going to tip the canvas back and forth. And like I said, the paint does the rest. I'm doing what's called a clean pour, where I poured each color individually. There's another technique that I actually haven't tried where you place all of the colors in the cup at once, and then you invert the cup in one sort of giant motion, and then you lift it up. All right, paint pour number two. So I've covered most of the canvas, and then this was at the dollar store. I saw this, I don't know, I feel like I saw this on YouTube. And it makes a really interesting texture. I don't know. <laughs> I mixed up a little pink, and so what I've done is right at the end, I've added just a drop. I actually, I don't want a lot of pink, but I like having a little bit of brightness in the mix. I mentioned this in my last video, but the pouring medium doesn't change the appearance of the colors whatsoever. They are still just as bright and beautiful as they were straight out of the bottle. again with my dollar store gizmo. So I think this is a strainer of sorts and the dots are what make it so pretty. So I'm saving the light blue. And it just gives you perfect dots, which I love. I'm back the next day and my four canvases look amazing. I love how they're each a little bit different, but they definitely relate and I'm looking forward to hanging them all together. But before I can hang them, I'd like them to have a little bit more of a frame. And I thought about just buying an eight by 10 frame, but then I looked around, I have so much scrap wood, I don't know what to do with. So I figured there was a way that I could make a frame and I think it'll be really easy. I have looked in my scrap pile and I have a strip of underlayment that I'm not using and I have this leftover piece of hardboard. So what my plan is, is I'm going to cut these strips a little bit bigger than the canvas and then I'm gonna be able to mount this one by three around the perimeter and I think it'll be really simple. So I'm gonna get my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut this out. 
I should mention that I am terrible with my jigsaw. I can't cut a straight line, but because these boards are gonna be hidden by the frame ultimately, it doesn't matter, so I don't need to set up a guide. I can just go ahead and cut it freehand. I've cut and sanded all my lumber and I'm gonna make this as simple as I can to assemble just to give you the idea. The canvas will sit in the middle. So I'm gonna assemble the frame and then I'll set the canvas in after. So I'm gonna use my Ryobi Airstrike and some wood glue. And I'm thinking it will be as simple as this. I'm gonna put some wood glue on the end I have my square here so that I can make sure that I have a square and level corner. I'm just gonna staple it. Now, this will have some added level of security because once I've assembled the frame, I'm also going to staple it the backing onto it. So this is definitely not sturdy, but once I add the back, I think it'll keep it all in place. I only need a coat or two of polycrylic. I don't really need to seal these frames. It's more for the aesthetics. So they are ready to put the canvases in. And honestly, my canvases are so tight in the frame that I don't even need to glue them. They just wedge in place perfectly. But if you did need to glue them, any sort of craft or tacky glue will work. These little canvas panels are so lightweight that you barely need anything to hold them in place. To hang them, I'm just gonna make sure that all of my screws are in the same location, three inches down, two inches over. I'm just using really simple wood screws. These are super lightweight, so I don't need to be crazy. I'm screwing them in with a little bit sticking out, and then I'm just gonna wrap some wire. I brought these paintings into the girls' bathroom because there's so much green in here and they are perfect. I happen to have all these materials in my shed, so this was free for me. If you don't have these materials, this entire project would probably cost you under $20, and that is including the pouring medium, the paint, the wood, the canvas. It's a really nice way to use paint. Kids could help. I love it. I am so happy with how my canvas has turned out. I love the way the frames kind of offset the busyness of the paint pour. I love that the colored edges of the frames mean that they're a little bit more interesting than just a solid piece of wood. They actually look perfect in the girls' bathroom. There's a lot of green in this space, so the green really complements it. This mirror that's right next to me really works well with the frames. It was like they were meant to be. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, everyone.